night, one more night. So we have got one day in Austin. We arrived last night, well, about four o'clock yesterday. Went straight to the hotel with every intention of going out for dinner, but the jet lag got the better of us. Well and truly, we were zonked out. Lou fell asleep at about half seven, you fell asleep at, didn't you? And I was not long after. I did try and fight it, but I thought, well, if he's going, I might as well go with him because he's gonna be up early. Um, so we're just in a taxi on the way to downtown Austin to have some breakfast. And um, yeah, we're starving. Just got out of the taxi. We got it all. <laughs> trying to keep out of the <laughs> nearly, nearly tripped down the curb, trying to get out the way of the camera. Um, yeah, we just got dropped in. Well, we, we got the Uber to, to drop us in downtown Austin. And then he was like, just pulled over and was like, okay, so, you know, you're here. Um, and we jumped out and now we're literally, I mean, in the middle of nowhere. To be fair, like we're probably just being really stupid and need to take a right or a left somewhere and we'd know where we are. Um, but yeah, we're kind of now thinking, where is everything? <laughs> so we're just gonna have a little wonder and hopefully find, you know, just looking for like a busy area with a bit of, a few restaurants, maybe some shops. Um, yeah, maybe we should just ask someone. I've just spotted a little man just there, there, hanging cleaning the windows but what a scary job that must be look at him i can fight it through till the darkness turns to light one more night one more night say it's gonna be okay cause this winter is so long feels like it's haunting me say there's gonna be a change cause i feel like breakfast in a little tap place downstairs it was we kind of got desperate in the end found a little taco place and thought yeah we'll we'll take our take a gamble and give it a go and it was actually really good um so we've just eaten and then we've just popped upstairs to starbucks and we're just reclining on these big sofas and just enjoying a little bit of time to <laughs> get a bit of energy back and um we're using the wi-fi because we need to book a greyhound over to dallas tomorrow we're gonna get like a greyhound coach or a bus um, so we need to book them, but yeah, we're just sort of chilling for a bit and then we're going to go and get, well, Lou's going to go and get his hair cut. There's a barber's, we just passed one on the street, so he's going to go and get a little trim. Um, yeah, and then go and explore. Come for a walk along the river, as you can see. It's not the nicest of days, so it's a little bit grey, but no, the sun might break through. Um, and now we're considering getting scooters because everywhere you look, there's like little scooters by the side of the road that I think you just connect to your Uber and then you can just kind of whiz around and explore. 15 cents a minute. Mm, 15 cents a minute, which I mean, you can't go wrong. I just popped in to use the toilet, or the restrooms, as obviously I should say now I'm in America. Um, and I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day while I'm in here. Not that it's the most exciting outfit ever, but it's just comfy for walking around all day. Um, so I've got a little black maxi dress on from Topshop, with like a little slit up the side. And then a long cardigan over the top from ASOS. Um, it's actually a men's one, but I really wanted a long cardigan for this trip and this was the only one I could find last minute. So long cardigan from ASOS, bag from Topshop last year and sandals are from Topshop as well. Um, and they are pretty comfortable. I do need to paint my toenails actually so we won't focus on that for too long. Um, and then earrings at Topshop and usual necklaces. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day quickly. I'll stand back so you can see it a bit better. Um, yeah, a little bit, I don't know, I feel a little bit frumpy in it today. Um, but I just wanted to be comfortable for a day of walking around Austin. So yeah, that's it. Let me see 
So we've just wandered up to the Texas Capitol building just to have a little look around because when we were Googling things to do, it said it was a beautiful building and that it was worth coming to come and look at. And it is, it's a gorgeous pink building, like a deep pink. Um, but Lou just went and asked the lady about the facts, we were a bit clueless, and then what was it you can so use it? She in essence said it was a good thing. Texas Capitol building, so they come here and they debate Congress and they're at the moment they're in there debating bills and we can go and watch it. It's just like you said, a bit like the government. Yeah, it's a government. Discussing bills. Yeah, so we might, should we go and have a little wander in? Yeah. Yeah, why not? We're going to have a little wander in and it's and see, cool. yeah, see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he'll have stopped singing when we come out. <laughs> Have film in here, do you reckon? I'm sure you are. Uh, hello. How are you, sir? Hello. hello. So we've just come inside and it is a beautiful building. Um, we had to actually go through security to come in here. We had to put our bags through security. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is gorgeous. I'm so glad we came here, aren't you? That's so cool. This is Governor Dolph Briscoe. William Clements. Mark White. I'm not sure who this one is. He is... Oh, it's a her, it's a she. <laughs> this is the first woman governor of Texas. I was like, oh, I'm not sure who this man is. <laughs> And then I saw it said a first woman. Um. <laughs> Sorry. And then there's old George W. Bush up there. staircase quite like one of these in our house <laughs> despite it being a bungalow <laughs> one day <laughs> so, so we're just off to we're on our way to the irish booze out to watch the spurs <laughs> come basically on. that's come what we're on, doing can we cross louis yeah hello he's waiting for us thank you don't know why we weren't going to cross then you're going to wait for the uh thing to come up but hey ho and anyway we're just off to have some lunch and watch the football because Lou's one request while we're here was to watch Tottenham first game in the new stadium first game in the new, new stadium even though he went to the new stadium last week for like a legends match so he doesn't yeah, know what he knows what they're like he knows what the new the roar of the crowd I want to hear it all I want to see it all I don't even know how it's going to be on so he's off to Irish watch the bar. Tottenham game. We're going to find an Irish bar on 6th Street, which apparently is like Nutty the busy street. street, which we want to go to anyway. Um, so find a bar, watch football, and then have, a couple of buds. have some food, yeah. have a few beers, some wings um, and, and just chill out because we are tired. The jet lag is like kicking us I'll a little bit, isn't it? I'm feeling a little bit like... Yeah, show up your feet. Okay, so my shoes started rubbing because I haven't worn sandals <laughs> since um, last summer. So I've got my new sandals on and then they started rubbing. So this is what I am walking through Austin looking like. I have got on my new sandals and then Louis has given me his watermelon socks and I'm genuinely walking through Austin like this. That is how little I care about what I look like. <laughs> Do you know what's even worse? I've just realised the fact that like it's black leopard print and then navy blue watermelons. Like if they were plain black it might not be quite so bad. Can you not be so small behind that your head looks like a little symbol? 